tribe welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is doing very well today if you're new here my name is tay luna welcome to the tribe make sure to hit that red subscribe button we do spiritual videos every week about crystals yoga all the hippie things you name it so join us i'd love to have you but before i jump in i just wanted to give a quick little thank you to everybody spread some gratitude for everyone who had um, just the most sweet thoughtful things to say about my last video if you haven't seen it i'll link it down below and in the cards but i announced that i pretty much had to put my dog down this past week and it's been really really hard on myself and on my family and I just wanted to thank you all so much for your kind words it really does mean the world to me um, and to my family as well so thank you so much for your kindness and support I love you guys so much um, but let's just jump into today's video in honor of Thanksgiving being just around the corner at the end of the month I wanted to do a video to share with you guys some of the crystals that I like to use to help me bring out that gratitude energy um, so these are going to be five crystals for gratitude that you can use throughout the month of November for Thanksgiving or at any time at all because these crystals are amazing no matter what time of year it is so these are the crystals that I'm going to be um, sharing with you today and if you want to get a little grab bag like this of your own so you can practice with these crystals this month um, I'll have a couple available on Depop so again I'll leave the link in the description if you want to pick up some new crystals for yourself this month um, but yeah let's just jump right in but the first crystal that I wanted to include this month is rose quartz and if you've ever worked with rose quartz before or you are familiar with crystals at all you know that rose quartz is the love stone this is one of the most popular popular stones. A lot of people have it. I feel like it's a great beginner stone um, because it really helps bring out any sort of loving energies for other people and especially for yourself. This is all about unconditional love um, and love is very important when expressing gratitude. So I wanted to throw this in there and um, send a little extra love your way. So I would definitely recommend working with some rose quartz this time of year, especially with the holidays being around anyway. Love is an amazing thing to share and this crystal will really help you do that. The next crystal that I have is called Carnelian. And Carnelian is actually one of my favorite stones ever. I use this a lot for my personal healing, for sacral healing. Um, I had cyst problems, which you guys also know about. So Carnelian has been a staple in my healing crystal collection. And I feel like a lot of people need this sort of energy around the holidays. Um, the holidays can be loving and exciting and amazing, but for a lot of people, they're very overwhelming, very challenging, um, and a lot of things come up that we need a little bit of strength and just protection from. So this is a really amazing protection stone, um, and this also, like I said, goes with your sacral chakra, so lots of protection here. The next stone that I have for you guys is called Blue Kyanite, and this is just a little shard. I have, I prefer working with them in smaller pieces so I can grid with them, but um, I love everything about Blue Kyanite, you guys. This stone is so magical to me. This is an amazing communication stone, um, so especially for having gratitude be a theme this month, you want to be able to express your gratitude um, and really share that with other people, which can be hard at times so um, this is a blue stone which is for your throat chakra and this will help you do any kind of communicating that you need to this month especially around your gratitude that you have so um, I would also recommend if communication is a struggle for you to maybe practice writing I am doing a 30-day gratitude challenge just throughout the month of November where it gives you a prompt um, of something to write that you're thankful for so if you want to go ahead and join I'll leave the picture of all the prompts that I'm using in the description um, but this will be an amazing aid for you as you work on bringing that side of you out so love blue kyanite the next crystal I have for you guys is clear quartz and this is obviously if you know anything about crystals a total staple in any collector's collection <laughs> so whip this out because clear quartz is important for amplifying everything amplifying all the good energies and completely getting rid of any negative energies. I love that, um, of course, it's a clear quartz that symbolizes amplifying and releasing negative energy because there's absolutely no, no darkness in this stone. Um, it's all light, so it's like all airy good energy, amplifying all of the good energy that you have. 
Um, and gratitude is a really great place to start when you are looking to bring the law of attraction into your life. When you're looking to start manifesting things, showing your gratitude for things you already have is going to get the universe's attention. They're going to start listening to you. So clear quartz is amazing for amplifying everything that you say. I would honestly recommend bringing clear quartz with you every day in your pocket, in your bra, in your purse, anywhere in your car. Um, it's an amazing stone to just carry with you all the time. Next up we have selenite and this is a fun little um, bead that I like to use for gritting but selenite is selenite is like the ultimate cleansing stone this stone cleanses everything around it and itself it's actually one of those crystals that never needs to be cleansed like with smoke um, or anything like that I still like to I do it for all of my crystals but it has that energy um, that is so strong and it just purifies everything negative that you really don't need to recharge this but the best part about selenite in my opinion is that it is an ultimate like crystal charge -er. So though it doesn't need to be cleansed itself, it has the power to cleanse, charge, and purify all of the other crystals in your collection um, in a very safe way. This is one of those crystals you don't want to put around water as well. So if you have any other crystals where the hardness just isn't enough for you to water cleanse, then you can set it around your selenite and it will cleanse it right up for you. I figured some selenite energy would be good this month so we can kind of purge, purify, and release anything that we need to, um, especially with the new moon and Scorpio that just passed us yesterday. We have a lot of healing energy, a lot of death energy, a lot of ending of cycles. So this is amazing to release anything that we need to purify that energy that we have um, and send out only a white light of gratitude and love for the rest of the month. So get yourself some selenite. Fun fact about selenite, selenite is actually named after Selene, the goddess of the moon. So this is actually called, um, people say that this is like the moon in a stone, which is super freaking cool. Of course I want selenite. Of course I want moon in a stone. I, my name, you know what I'm saying? Love it. <laughs> All right. And I know I said five crystals, but I had to throw in one more. This is the ultimate abundance stone, citrine. Um, this is, I feel like everyone needs to have this in their collection. Like this is the perfect abundance prosperity stone, especially if you're a beginner. So while we're looking to express gratitude, we are also opening our arms for all of the other things that we're inviting into our lives by putting this energy out. And citrine will help attract very abundant, prosperous energy coming back towards you. I love to do like money abundance rituals with citrine and stuff like that. Let me know if you guys like to see stuff like that in the comments because I do them all the time. Um, but citrine is the stone to bring in all of those good things to your life. Citrine is also a stone of the um, solar plexus chakra, which is actually like in your tummy. Um, and this is your identity stone. So if you're working with yourself a little bit more or if you need some help expressing gratitudes towards yourself because we need to remember to do that, try and tap into some citrine. It will really help you get into um, your very personal deep feelings and let them out with love. And those are all of the crystals that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I plan on doing lots more videos like this um, where I can just give you a bunch of crystals that work for a bunch of different things and teach you a little bit about them. So um, let me know what you would like to see next, what kind of crystals you need for different things. If you want to pick up a set of these gratitude crystals for yourself, it comes in this cute little bag with some lavender and fresh sage that I actually grew and picked myself. Um, I'm gonna have a couple available on my Depop store, just a few, so run and grab them if you want one. Um, my name on Depop is Tay Luna, but I'll also leave the link in the description so you can head on over and yeah, get yourself some gratitude crystals for this Thanksgiving. If you guys have any other crystals that you like to work with for gratitude, I'd love to know what they are in the comments below. Let's chat all about it. Make sure you guys follow me on all my social media. I'll go ahead and leave the links in the description. You can give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit subscribe and click the little notification bell so anytime I post, YouTube actually lets you know that I'm posting, which I'm very good at. <laughs> I love you guys to the moon and back, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.
Thanks. <laughs>